Hey guys, it's me again. Um, in the spirit of mixing things up and not posting a tutorial, I thought I'd show you some current projects I've been working on. Um, I'm actually really busy in my not fiber life right now with grad school and work and all that other stuff. So this is what keeps me sane and allows me to avoid actually doing any real work. So the first project I've been working on that I'm really excited to show you are these little butterflies that Tina, um, whose YouTube name is Dream Big Lover, she showed us how to make them in one of her videos. So I've been kind of going full speed ahead with these guys. I just think they are the cutest things ever. These are the first ones that I made. They're like super teeny tiny um, little white butterflies that I made out of really thin crochet thread that I had in my stash. It's probably too thin, but look, they're so tiny. They're so cute. Um, and then I had some black cro crochet threads, so I made some black ones. And okay, so these are really cute, but they're not as cute as the ones that I made in color. So I'll show you those now. Well, first, here's a little gold one. I had some leftover crochet thread from Christmas that I was using to make um, snowflakes and ornaments with, so I had this gold left over, and it's actually, it's so pretty, and it's sparkly. And you can see, I mean, that was like the normal size that they kept turning out like, and then these are little white ones. So these are like little baby butterflies. Um, but yeah, the gold one came out really pretty. And then I had some of these which you used to make like friendship bracelets and stuff. I bought them over Christmas so I could make all those Christmas ornaments because you didn't really need a lot and they're so cheap. You get like, there was all of this and then like a third this amount for like, I don't know, $10 or something. But it's come in pretty handy over the years and I still have another one full that I didn't know I had purchased because that's how yarn works with me. But, so I have a ton of this stuff. So I've just been making butterflies at the wazoo since Saturday. So there's a pretty like turquoise one, and there's a little variegated pink one, and then I made a variegated purple one, which is also really cute, and then this pink and green one. I don't know, I just think they're like super adorable and I'm getting fuzz all over them but I don't know they're just they're so cute you see yeah really adorable and I'm really glad that she finally shared the pattern with us because I've been like drooling over them since the first time she posted them I don't know sometime last month I've been like how is she making those butterflies I think this one's my favorite I really like the color it's not really showing up too well on camera but it's cute so yeah, those are my butterflies. And then because I'm apparently obsessed with making tiny things and killing my fingers with the thread, I've been making these little tiny roses. I've only made these three, but I just think they're really cute too. And I've been making them out of the friendship bracelet stuff. You can get a lot of bright colors, and my favorite color is bright. So... I think this yellow one's so pretty because it was variegated and it just kind of gives it some dimension. But it's really cute. Alright, so and finally, um, also flowers is kind of an impromptu project, which means I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I found the pattern on Ravelry and I just wanted to see what it was like and I started making these things without really planning on it and now it's kind of taking on a life of its own but I started making these flower granny squares and I've already made like a ton of them so basically when I'm done because I'm a glutton for punishment I'll get to sew these 900 or so flower granny squares together and weave in all the ends, which is a jolly good time for those of you who have done granny squares and whatnot before, but 
Um, I guess to give you a little preview, it'll look something like that. I've made more, but but um, I think it's going to look freaking awesome. Look at those colors. I told you my favorite color is bright. Oh, here's a yellow one. That'll help. But yeah, it's going to be insane. Um, in a good way, of course. But yeah, basically you, you start out just making this flower... And then when you're done, you kind you go through the back and kind of square it off so that eventually you get, this is what it started like, and then it'll look like this in the back. So you just kind of make a square out of it. And I'm so excited to finish this in, like, August. Um, yeah, I don't really ever finish my granny square blankets, but I think I might actually finish this one because it, it really, it just whips up so fast. So, I'm excited about it. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for now for my current projects. I'm sure I'll start about five more in the next week in an attempt to avoid doing homework. But um, thanks, Tina, for your cute little butterfly pattern. They're super cute. Um, I'll post a link to her video where you can learn to make them too if you're interested. But, I mean, really, come on. So cute. Alright, well, I hope you guys are having a good week, and thanks for watching.